Hi, I'm Rick and I want to talk about Neville Goddard's exploding technique for manifestation because I've had quite a few questions on that. Here are some words from Neville about that. You become, for a moment, after a successful meditation, incapable of continuing the act. As though it were a physical creative act. He's talking about a sexual act. You are just as impotent after you have prayed successfully as you are after the physical creative act. When satisfaction is yours, you no longer hunger for it. If the hunger persists, you did not explode the idea within you. You did not actually succeed in becoming conscious of being that which you wanted to be. There was still that thirst when you came out of the deep. Okay, he talks more about this in the video I have here. And that's my video for entering into my uh, YouTube kingdom, I guess you might say. When you get here on my channel, that's the first video you see. Now that'd be for new subscribers. So let me give you my take on this. Now I've felt something like this before I ever heard of Neville Goddard. I'd get it when I was praying really hard for healing or for a better life. And for me, I experienced it as a shiver. Multiple shivers, actually. I'd get three or four, along with head movement, and sometimes a spasm that would cause my head to bob down and, and do something like a starting of a sit-up. I'd be laying down in bed, doing my praying, meditating, whatever you want to call it, and I'd feel this spasm. My head would move, and I'd feel buckled up a little bit, like I'm almost going to do a sit-up, you know, an exercise. So I can't really explain to you how to get that, because it just happened to me naturally. But I believe it's the same thing Neville was talking about, because after that, I don't feel the need to continue. It's almost like I cannot speak. For a few seconds, I stop speaking. I don't want to talk anymore about the situation, the subject, whatever it is I'm working on. The only way I can explain how to get it is to believe that you can get it if that's what you want and to let go and let it happen. It comes from a real feeling of living in the end, a strong feeling of being where you want to be in your visual visualization. You imagine, feel, and know that your dreams will come true and then you'll get that feeling. That's how it works for me. Back to Neville's words. And these words are straight out of, out of the Bible. When you pray, believe that you have received and you shall receive. End of Bible quote. That wasn't even actually a complete quote, but it was similar. Neville's words. When the physical creative act is completed, the sinew which is upon the hollow of man's thighs shrinks, and man finds himself impotent or halted. In like manner, when a man prays successfully, he believes that he is already that which he desired to be. Therefore, he cannot continue desiring to be that which he is already conscious of being. At the moment of satisfaction, physical and psychological, something goes out which in time bears witness to man's creative power. So of course he's talking about energy. Something like that. Energy, power, amazing focus, energy. Neville would visualize the scene correctly to manifest his desire and then thus he would be letting go of the desire, you see, because he acted as if he already had it. Let's say, hey, I want to pick up that hamburger over there well you already have it in your hand right so how can you desire picking up the hamburger you want to eat the hamburger well how can you desire eating it if you've already eaten it that's the basic simple simplified theory you achieve that desire and you get that shiver when when you strongly visualize and feel that your desire is real that's living in the end. Now, according to Neville, what he was able to easily do is go about his day and forget it. That's not as easy for some of us. 
It's not as easy for me because I want instant gratification. And Neville rarely talked about instant gratification, if ever. I don't remember him ever talking about instant gratification. It was always at least a day or two, maybe the next day. But when you're in a lot of pain, you want instant healing, right? Maybe you settle for 50%. I've gotten 50% by the next day. And that was from the first day to the second day. I've gotten 50% better using Neville's techniques. Now, I don't want to give him all the credit, because after all, he's just a man. I want to give the credit to God and to myself. And thanks to Neville, Neville is great at clarity, clarifying and getting us to focus. He's got great, great techniques. But the power comes from God, comes from myself. And your power comes from God and from yourself. The power you, you, you yourself, the power you have, is God-given power. So, I suggest that you ask God for help in your visualizations. If you have a faith in God, your Creator, ask for help. Ask for clarity, understanding, permission if you need permission. Ask yourself if it's okay with you, if it feels good. If it feels good, continue on and do it. And be grateful for the results you get. Be grateful to yourself and to your Creator. And, of course, to Neville, who is a great teacher. And I want to thank you for listening to this. If you have any questions, leave them down. Leave them in the comments for me. Thank you very much. This is Rick Gold, and I'll talk to you soon.